Hey what's up guys Rajat here from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video we'll talk about silhouette advanced paint process and if you are new in this silhouette paint then this video is for you so don't skip this video and without wasting any time let's get started <laughs> So guys right now we're in After Effects, I know this is After Effects, so let me tell you if you installed your Silhouette Neo version with plugin which is made for your After Effects as well, so then you can find uh, some options when you click right click and then go to Effects panel and then you can find this Bodice Effects Mocha which is made for Mocha plugin for Adobe and this is Bodice Effects Silhouette which is the Silhouette Paint, so when you click here Silhouette Paint plugin uh, effect will be popped up here and you can launch from here in any time. The main thing is you don't need to render your footage in EXR or JPEG or any kind of image sequence format. So just press open here. Now after done your project settings it will look like this and uh, you can see there's a uh, toolbar called paint and roto so whenever you want to switch you can switch it from like roto and then paint it's just a single click. So basically we are trying to remove uh, this uh, what you can call this logo from her hat and let's buffer this. So it's already buffered from After Effects so it, it was not taking too much time to take a buffer each and every time. So now the basic thing is to paint this out in a really advanced way you should know how to paint. So this video it's completely start from beginning scratch and so first of all what you have to do we have to track this logo because we want to stabilize this. So just click here to create a new layer let's rename it to like a logo and then take a random shapes around this uh, marks or logo and then just simply adjust your shape and then click here or press here and then you just turn on all these options and turn off this max minimum pixel used like this and then just simply press play. Now the track is completely done and let's see the how it's look like. So click here from here roto and then logo. So now when you press play you can see this layer is completely stabilized and the track is really good. And now what happened we have to go to this paint panel just here. Now the thing is we have to paint out this area. Okay now if you play here as well you can see this uh, is in stabilized mode. Now you have to select your main frame where you want to paint. So in my case I am taking the first frame because this is a really good frame for paint. Now in this paint process we are not using clone stamp right now. We are using different different methods. So if you go here this viewer option you can see from output to foreground, color layers, detail layers and paint. So if you go to this color layers you can see there's a only main source color will be visible. So whatever you will paint, it will paint only the color layer and if you go to this detail layer, you can see the details. Details is basically your frequency based on your like different different frequencies based on your image sequence. This is a main thing and if you go to the foreground, this is foreground and this is your output which will be you can render. Okay, So now for this we are going to this color layer and we are taking this palette to make this uh, cool paint out. Now you have to click this color option from this paint panel. So whatever you will paint, you should paint only the color. Okay, now to set your reference color, you just have to right click and then just drag. So what happened, you can pick any types of color from your main color input like this. Now you can see this is your color which is selected. Now very simple, you have to do what? Just zoom in and then just when you click control and drag so it can be increase or decrease your shape of your brush and now let me tell you about this panel this is like opacity softness of your brushes so let's increase the softness to let's uh, take around like 100 something like that and this is a fall off flatness and anything like angles and all these things are right now not needed so what happened when you pick your colors like this and then just simply start your painting it's very easy but it's not a cleanup guys uh, make sure this is not a cleanup so just start take picking your color and then just simply you have to cover your main thing So the basic color paint is completely done. I know it's look like uh, like weird, but trust me, it will be changed. So now what happened, we have to go to our this foreground. So this is your foreground and this is your output. You can toggle by using one or two. One is your output and two is your foreground. Now you can see in uh, output, we already added some colors on this layer. Now what happened, we have to go to a detail layer. The shortcut of this like eight is your color layer and nine is your detail layer and one is your output and two is your foreground. So these are the some shortcuts. So 
so when you click 8 you should go to this color layer and this is your 8 now what happened what do you have to do we just click here to detail option now whatever you will paint it will paint on your detail layer now you have to take this clone stamp tool when you click this clone stamp tool how it will work I already have a video you can check this video you can see in front of your screen over there I have shown sequence paint inside of silhouette okay so now click control and drag you can make the shapes bigger and smaller and by pressing shift and drag you can take your source so this will be your source and this will be your final output which will be paint okay so now I'm taking this area as a source and uh, let's start painting Now after doing this cleanup, you can go to your output layer. You can see this is your output. I know in this tutorial, I am not doing it very, I'm doing it very roughly. So you can take your time and make sure this paint or cleanup should be very proper. So let's check one and two. Now you can see some areas are unwanted paint up. So what happened, what you have to do, take this eraser tool and go to this normal. So now when you click this eraser tool, let's decrease the opacity a little bit and the size also. Now I want to remove this area. Now see, you can see these patches are unwanted patches. So just remove these patches a little bit so that it will not hamper your final output. Something like that. It's, it's just a simple erase process. So you can do it or you should paint up your sequence very, very cleanly so that these kind of issues will not pop up. Now see, I know this paint, I know, I know this is very, very weird painting. So I have to make to fix this. So how you can fix this little bit, I can fix in this tutorial. So I have an interesting tool called the smudge tool. What happened, what it will do, let's, let me show you that this is a mix and decay. So when you click and drag, you can see something will be uh, like stretched out. So just increase the opacity, increase the size. And when you click and drag, you can see these pixels are are actually dragging so when you increase or decrease this DK something like decrease this DK and when you click increasing like this now see nothing is happening because I increased or decreased something and now when you click this DK to mix to like a little bit low when you drag it you can see something is visible so make sure it should be in default and so to blend this you should drag it something like that now see it started blending with your input okay so for this you have to check your opacity and softness and all to make sure every time it should not look like a weird kind of patches now i have this a small single line here so what happened what you can do go to this paint option and just decrease this size a little bit like something like that and take a reference from here and then increase the opacity and softness like down and then just click a line here something like that and then just take this uh, stretch or smudge tool and then just smudge it to create a small single line you can take your own time and you can make sure this should be precise and uh, now the paint process is completely done and after that when you're happy with your paint just of this select this paint layer and from here this transform option you should check this logo which was your tracked roto layer name and after that you just turn on this match move and from here you should check your frame range which is your work range like 274 to 351 and after that very simple you just have to press this play button so guys the paint process is completely done and the output you can see in front of your screen which is looks just amazing and by using this way you can create a lot of things but the make sure your paint should be a very proper paint out otherwise your output will not come in this good manner so guys i would like to thank bodice effects for providing us the silhouette license so thank you bodice effects and guys if you really love my videos then don't forget to subscribe my channel also you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below and guys before leaving please do like my videos also you can dislike it's completely up to you and guys in future i will come with more interesting contents so till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking keep watching vfx world